Alright guys, the next thing we're going to be learning about are instances. So far you've learned about objects, printing, but now I want to get you guys more comfortable with the script editor. So go ahead and open up your script, delete the code, and type this, instance.newPart. Basically what this line of code does is it creates a new object, and that object is a part. Instance.new will create the object, and inside you want to specify in a string what you want to create. However, the issue is when you run the game, you're not going to find this part anywhere, and that's because its parent is currently nil. We see inside these objects that their parent properties are set to whatever they're parented to. For example, this base plate is parented to the workspace. However, this part has no parent right now. That means this part's parent is nil. What I did here was added this to a variable, so now whenever I type new part, it's going to be referencing this part that I created. You never actually type instance.new by itself, you always make sure it's assigned to a variable so you can actually edit the instance that you created. When I say edit the instance, I mean changing its properties. For example, the first thing you do when you instance something new is you change its parent property. Currently, the parent is nil, that means you're not going to find it in the explorer. It's currently parented to nothing. Let's go ahead and put this in the workspace. To do that, let's simply change nil to game.workspace. Now if you run your game, you're going to find the part in the workspace. As you can see, the part is right here. Next, let's go ahead and change its name property. This is really simple to do, and I know you guys can do it with the knowledge that you've gained so far. Simply go ahead and type new part.name equals, and then now we need to type in a string. That's because the name property is a string. I named it cool part that I created. Let's run the game and see if it worked. As you can see, the part's name property has been been set to cool part that I created, and that's because of the script. Now you may be wondering, what else can I do with instance.new? I don't just want to keep creating parts. Well for that, you're going to need to look at the object browser.